check with me to love her, I can never be a lane No more check with me to love her, I can never be a lane No more check this is the last one I promise Not to you but to myself Can't let this shit stress me It ain't good for my health Some days I can't stop What's going on y'all? It's your girl Lady B And right now you're watching Beyond the Talent This week I had a chance to sit down with Gold Gang's own Forte Bowie Take a look Forte, how are you? Good. You're good. 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 That's good. So we're sitting here at Music Box Studio. A little different setting than what our viewers are normally used to seeing, but you've had a phenomenal start to this year. Um, with going back into last year, shooting the video, the, the Southside video, um, late December. Let's talk about that experience and you know, Trinidad James, who was literally taking the country by storm. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, man, Southside just came came about real natural, um, you know, Trinidad had been my boy for a minute, you know, just like, like we said, we Southside, Southside dudes, so, you know, came by the store one day, we was working, he told me he was actually going to take rapping seriously and do a mixtape, I was like, alright, you know what I'm saying, do what you do, my dude, and then, you know, he told me he was really wrapping it up, and I was like, you know what, man, um, I definitely want to be on that project, you know what I'm saying, that's my boy, I want to help him out. And I already had the beat, and I already had that verse. I just came up with it. I played it for him at the store. He was like, dog, we got to do it. We made it happen. And the next thing you know, that nigga was out of here. So, you know, and then he was like, yo, we finna just do a, a video for Southside. I was like, oh, okay. Like, cool. That's a good <laughs> so look. be it. That's and, a good uh, look. Yeah, and we shot the video, J. Paul, on the Southside, right there on Terra Boulevard. It's funny, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the club we used to really be at. You know what I mean? Like, you know. It's, you know, hood or ratchet, as people call it, you know what I mean? But, you know, that's 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 like home down there. So we was like on top of J. Paul. Like we just looked at each other like, damn, we on top of J. Paul. Like this shit is crazy, you know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy to see, you know, his success. I'm just really proud of him because he really, uh, he really loves music, you know, despite what people may think. He really loves to do this, so, you know what I mean? much respect to that brother man absolutely absolutely so let's talk about you as an artist uh forte bowie now a lot of people have confused the name i'm sure what are first of all is that let me ask you this what are some some different pronunciations that you got of your name man, i heard her forte bow tie her fort buoy forty buoy forty bowie all kind of wild shit it's just like it's all it's just all wrong i mean right you know, it's honestly it's like simple simple phonetics but you know people don't really want to take the time out to do it but it's it's forte bowie you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like you've been saying forte bowie f-o-r-t-e-b-o-w-i-e -E, and there's no spaces all together the f is capital and the b is capital and some people be like that shit ain't important but it is important to me because that's like my brand mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that goes with you know any video I do or any song I drop is just as important as that. You know what I mean? So you gotta sing the name right and you gotta spell the name right. And know? that is important. So where did the name Forte Bowie come from? Is that your government name or is that a name yeah. that you created? <laughs> I mean, you know, that's that's a very unique name. Uh when I was in high school, I used to call myself Forte A Negro and that stood for loud ass nigga. I was that was just some stupid ass shit. And then um you know, one day uh, I was on some website signing up for something. I forgot what it was. Just you know, and they told me that my username or what's my it was my username it wasn't strong enough or something like that. So I had to, they gave me suggestions like you know you could uh, take your first name or your nickname and attach it on to a name of a famous celebrity. For example, David Bowie. And I was like, I fuck with David Bowie. You know what I'm saying? I used to listen to David Bowie when I was little. So I put Forte Bowie together, and I used to laugh at that shit. Like, oh, that's some funny ass shit. And that's the thing with me. If the shit is funny to me, it's going to go. And I'm going to take it seriously, eventually. You know what I mean? So I just started calling myself Forte Bowie. I used to have, I used to go by another stage name. It used to be Daddy Nino. That used to be funny Wait, to me too. Wait, Daddy Nino? Uh, yeah. Why Daddy Nino? Because it was funny to me. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to call myself. That was like in 10th grade. I was like, I'm going to call myself Daddy Nino. And everybody was like, all right. And nobody said nothing about that shit. I was like, that shit cool. And like, you know, I kept going with that. And Forte Boy was just like my alias, you know what I mean? And then one day my boy Stanza, shout out to Stanza, he was like, bro, you gotta change your motherfucking name. 
I was like, no. I was like, why? He was just like, bro, like it don't make sense for the kind of music that you're doing. You're trying to be timeless. You got to change your name. So, you know, I really thought about it. I was like, man, you know, it's the right time. My boy Fresh was like, if you're going to do it, do it now. So I changed my name to Forte Bowie. And, you know, the rest is history. So. You're right, right, right. That's the only problem. Yeah, Prince Prince that's probably gonna be some like Prince, weird shit. Prince would never clear that shit. Yeah, he's not gonna clear that. Nah. So <laughs> I can play out something that's gonna be on the project though. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Okay, okay. This nigga, Prince, we was talking about that man. He 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 fucking played. He covered somebody <laughs> else's song. But then would not allow them to like sample some shit that he did. Nah, <laughs> it was I, like, I, oh, I'm gonna go and do some shit on your song because I can't. Cause I can. Prince. Nah, he showed me a video of Prince. Um, what what uh, concert was that? I don't know some old shit. He, with he Michael rode, Jackson. He rode this big ass white dude to the stage. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's the shit with Michael with James Brown. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah no, no, how you gonna like everybody <laughs> Prince? He's gonna ride somebody bro, to the bro, stage, bro, yeah. bro, and then take it like that's real. Like Prince is weird. Like he was like he was like back, but but that's. <laughs> thing, that's what makes Prince like wonderful. Hey, bro. Like, yeah, assless chaps riding, you know, riding somebody to the stage. Yeah, just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, 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 Come on, man. Yeah. I mean, that's How were you formally introduced to music? Man, it was just there. Like growing up, it was it was just there. Like some people say. You know, my parents or my family did music or they just always played music. It wasn't really like that, but my parents just had CDs and all kind of VCR, like not VCR, but VHSs and tapes where they taped Apollo and Rap City and shit. They was just there for me to explore. You know what I'm saying? I could have easily been like, man, fuck this, I want to go play basketball or something. But I was like, you know what? I want to see what this CD is about or whatever. I just started, I learned how to play CDs and cassettes early and just, I just fell in love with music. That's all I wanted to do every day. Just listen to music and, and watch old tapes of Michael Jackson. And that's all I wanted to do growing up. You know what I mean? I didn't know nothing else. I didn't want to be no firefighter, no astronaut. I ain't gonna fuck with none of that shit. I didn't want to ride no bike. I just wanted to listen to music all day. That's all I wanted to do. So, you know, that's just been, that's been uh, my everything just for as long as I can remember. My mama said when I was young, she knew that, you know, music was something special to me because when I, before I could barely even like walk when they would, they, would, they would turn the radio down I would start crying and shit <laughs> you know what I'm saying so she was like yeah I guess it's destined for you to do this so yeah man music has just been in my life forever mm -hmm. now, now seeing that you're from the south side and that when you think of south side you think of Walker you think of more of the, the, the street artist how does your sound and your appearance your look differ from those other artists? Um, my whole thing is, I feel like wherever you are on this planet, it's just we're all human beings and we're all people and everybody's different. So you can't really define someone just because of where they're located mm -hmm. or where they're at, you know? And for the longest time, I always was, you know, confused as to why people felt like I should seem a certain way or talk a certain way or be a certain way just because I'm from a certain part of town or from a certain city. You know what I mean? It's just people just, you know, are different. You know what I mean? I got um, a lot of friends, a lot of friends that you would see, like, them niggas from South You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I mean, I've just always been different, man. Like, growing up, my mom and dad, when I was in elementary school, we had to wear uniforms and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, i just been, I just been always different. You know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, when I got to high school, I kind of was like, or middle school, actually, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to try. I used to try to be, like, everybody else but i was like you know what was what makes me unique is that i'm me yeah. so i just do me you know what i mean and, and sometimes i you know when i talk you'll hear the south side coming out and sometimes you won't and that's just how i am you know what i mean so and even with my music you know i always try to put that letter in there and the south side in there but like i said i grew up with so many influences yeah. it's kind of hard to just be like i'm finna do this shit just this is my Atlanta shit. like I, i've never been like that so yeah, man, I don't think somebody should be really held down, uh, you know, to uh, something just because of their, uh, their uh, settings. Right, you know? right. Now, you're, as a, you know, a lot of people call you an on-the-cusp artist. Um, how do you see your music standing out and 
seeing that you are the next, pretty much the next thing to come out of Atlanta, to blow. Uh, you know, how do you see your music being different and yourself as an artist being not the stereotypical artist? To me, it's just uh, creating. Mm -hmm. It's all about being creative and, and, and just finding influences in, in, in everything and just always pushing to be better and always wanting to be better than, you know, the past. Like, people... Um, People don't understand, like people like Kanye, people like Michael Jackson, people like uh, shit, people like Madonna, you know, people that just really broke the mold and uh, created history, they did those things so we can pick up where they left off. So it doesn't make sense for me to look at somebody like Kanye or Andre and just be like, yeah, I understand what y'all did, but I'm just gonna like dumb my shit down. Mm -hmm. Just cause I want people to understand. It's just like, nah, like you have to take that shit and run with it, you know what I'm saying? They pass the baton to you. So my whole thing is just creating. I don't like really describing my music and shit because I can just confuse people. I feel like, you know, with my music, with Forte Bowie's music, you just have to take it and accept it for what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't really force it on them. I can't be like, this is this is my shit, listen to this. And that. It's just like, you know, you gotta take it and have your own, uh, your own thoughts about it. You know what I mean? I want you to sit with my music and, and come up with what you want to come up with, you know what I mean? So, to me, it's just about, you know, being creative, just creating some shit, not trying to follow whatever, just creating something. Now, as an independent artist, um, what's been the biggest challenge that you face personally and music-wise? Wow. Uh, the biggest challenge I face? Um, I don't know, man. I think it's, uh, just trying to live real life. Just me being an artist, like, I'm not like the most famous motherfucker or nothing like that, but it's like, just in life, when things happen to me, you know, I just feel the need to create a song about it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I used to think it was a problem, but I realized my boy stands it once again. He told me like, bro, you an artist, this is what happens to you. Like, if anything bad happens to me, you know what I mean? Like, when I got arrested for some stupid shit, um, I was in the back of the cop car just thinking, I'm gonna make a song about this shit. Coming up with a song, I should've been worried about calling my mom. I was thinking about making a song. You know what I mean? Like, my, whether it be good or bad, like, I'm always thinking about, you know, how could I make this a song? How can I turn this into music? You know what I mean? So sometimes it's like, damn, how do I actually live life as a human being if all I'm thinking about is, like, making music? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I mean, I would probably say that's one of the biggest challenges and just, you know, yeah, balancing out you know, friendships and relationships and, you know, but at the same time, you know, that whole balance and that whole battle of life is what influences my music, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I have to go through those things, mm -hmm. you know, for my music to be as great as it is, mm -hmm. you know, so that's all that is. My life is so diagonal, trying to get my pocket straight, trying to make my mama proud, trying to set my partner straight, trying to stay humble, but they told me that once your pockets change, you start looking down on niggas paying with pocket change. I remember putting 80 cent on Paul 6, praying like Jesus, just let me make it to the crib. I was once told that I would never amount to shit, them niggas counting me out, so give me back my change, bitch. I don't want to be one of these niggas praising currency, but Sally Mays a hoe. When she already had a turn with me Before I pay her back I'm probably gonna buy a lack Or Impala leave two dollars For that cash that I owe Zach I'm trying to cook up this money I'ma see how it pans out If you ain't got your hands in Don't ask for no handout Searching for the more, nothing less Put the house on my skills I'm too ill, that's a motherfucking bitch I want my check, want my check Cash rule everything around my set I need my check, want my check Cash rule everything around my set I need my check, want my check 